Hey guys, Ben Shane, the web editor of Kayak Angler Magazine here. I'm going to show you guys how to change your line on your baitcaster and your spinning reels as fast as possible and as easy as possible. Now the easiest way to get rid of the line, the old line on your reels, even if you're doing two rods at once, is to get a big trash can that you can lean them both across at the same time, spool out some lines, you can grab the line, and then stand a foot back or so, two feet back, and take really big pulls of the line. That way you can get them off as fast as you possibly can. So I don't always rig up my rods in my mother-in-law's living room, but when I do, I also steal her Tupperware. So Tupperware, any kind of container, uh, like a bucket or something like that, best is an ice bucket from a hotel, but I didn't tell you that. Uh, that way you can put the, the spool inside the bucket and it can rotate and move around all it wants to do, but it won't go anywhere, so you're not chasing it the whole time. And that way you also don't need to have your little brother or, somebody or your buddy sit there with this on a pencil forever because that's just annoying and you don't always have a second person to help you. So the best thing to do is to find something that you can have with a lid and that way you can fit as many different spools as you want in here and just line them up and close it. That can be your line box. So when you start spooling your rod, don't forget to feed it through the guides. So once you've strung up your line through the guides, tie your line to the reel with an arbor knot. Now to tie an arbor knot, you basically just loop it around the spool, tie an overhand knot, which basically creates a slip knot that you can then draw tight, and then on the tag end, do another overhand knot, which will prevent that the arbor knot from slipping once it gets seated to the reel. And when you're spooling up your rod, don't use a knife. It's just sloppy and you might get cut. You might accidentally cut the line in your reel and have to do the whole process over again. That's super annoying. I really like the Logic Lures ceramics. These things are so sharp and will cut through anything, and yet they literally cannot cut you. Take your Tupperware with your line in it, set that about five feet away, and then just start reeling. I like to grip the line with a loose grip between my fingers. That way I know that there's proper tension when the reel uh, takes up the line. And once you have enough line on your reel, make sure to not overdo it because then it messes up the entire reel and all your casting and stuff like that. It'll, it'll bridge and that's like crazy that way because it'll slip off the spool itself. Um, then make sure that you leave yourself enough line to work with once you sit your rod down. Otherwise, you'll have to be working up with that rod tip and that's annoying. And then what I'm going to do for this rod setup is I'm going to add a liter of about four feet maybe five, of 20 pound test fluorocarbon. Once you do that, you're all set. My name is Ben Shaney, the web editor of Kayak Gamer Magazine, hoping you paddle forever and fish longer.